Hi everyone! It's Anna here. I'm a fluid artist and I'm really glad you stopped by my channel. I'm making a tray today. I'm going to do a, an acrylic pour over this beautiful wooden acacia tray. And here are some of the paint colors I'm using. I've got it all mixed up already. Got some copper, black, uh, scarlet red, like a metallic orange. I love that one. Ooh, this deep plum color. It's gorgeous. Got some gold. I've got some primary red. And then over there is my palette knife. I'm going to use it to swipe this really, really liquidy black, like this sort of a swipe cell black mixture. And I'll list all the description, in the description I'll list the uh, materials that I use. There's some water there. And I mix that with my acrylic paints to make them fluid. I also add some Floetrol, this big container down here. And that adds to the cells and the smoothness. Um, the other gallon I pulled out was a distilled water, just showing you that um, that's what I had in the bottle, was distilled water. And then over the top of this pour, once it's all set um, and dried, I put um, art resin on top to make it really glassy. So I'm starting off by cleaning off the tray. I used just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. As you can see, I already did a pour over this tray and um, turned out hideous. <laughs> So I am just going to pour over the top and make a better design. I frequently mess up canvases and trays and stuff, but the great thing with paint is you can just always paint over the top. So I'm layering the colors in the cup. And there's no science to this. It's just whatever colors you think look good together and what's gonna, you know, you never quite know how it's gonna mix together once you pour it out. And there is the beautiful cup. And I'm doing a flip cup pour with this one. So I'll invert it over the tray. And we will see what happens when we lift up the cup. Here we go. Ooh, that's just my favorite moment of flip cup pours. So immediately I'm taking in my palette knife and I'm swiping that really liquidy black over the top. I think that black I made with um, black acrylic paint, ink, like Amsterdam um, acrylic ink, Floetrol, and quite a bit of water. It's just thinner than the other paint. I'm swiping it across and you can already see the cells popping out. And the cup is so pretty and it usually dries like that. Sometimes I keep them just for fun. <laughs> Popping the bubbles with a torch and also this opens up some more cells. And then I'll just let you watch as I spread out the design and I'm going to kind of tweak some of the colors and add some more paint here and there. Hope you enjoy. The person who commissioned this tray had seen an acrylic pour I did on a canvas with these same colors. It was a kind of a fiery autumn design and she wondered if I could do the same on a tray. It was going to be a Christmas gift. And I think we achieved the effect really well. If you want to see the inspiration for this tray, I will link that video as well up in the right hand corner see a little link there it'll say inspiration for this tray and you can watch the painting I did on canvas and um, see for yourself if, if it if it matched kind of the similar style I'm 
just making some finishing touches and then I'm going to let this tray dry for a couple weeks and then I did end up putting some gold leafing on it as well before the final coat of resin to seal it off. And there's the tray drying. Um, I loved it. Uh, I think the client loved it too. And you'll see it here with the gold leaf and the finishing touches. Let me know what you think. Hit thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to leave a comment and always subscribe for more videos like this. Take care. Thanks for watching.